So when you all came in pretty quickly, you all won the tag titles. Are you a belt guy? There are some people that like when they win the title, they'll keep like a copy or a replica. Are you one of those guys? No, like uh, when when I won the title, I kind of uh, I, I came home with them and uh, showed my showed my kids and uh, the, my oldest was kind of like yeah whatever dad and then uh, <laughs> the youngest she was more enthralled and running around with it but uh, you know as as far as the oldest she was kind of like yeah whatever dude. So I remember when that happened, that's when they switched it from GFW to Impact midway through. I can't remember if they actually changed the belt. Did they change the belt or just the name? Um, I think the I think the tag titles had GFW on it. Yeah. I, think. I can't really remember to be to be honest with you. Because I remember for a while they like screwed a plate onto some of them that just said yeah, GFW. You know what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mine was one of those. They had a couple of plates, an impact plate, because uh, we had to we had to give the belts back. Yeah, I remember My. that. Was that awkward? <laughs> Being like, no, no, here's, no, your, here's was, your belts. It was just kind of fine. Like, uh, it, it was kind of like, oh, they kind of look cool. I thought with the yeah. with the uh, plates on them. What did you think of the name changes throughout that point? Because I mean. At at that time, TNA had a bit of a stigma to it. Nowadays, when you bring that up, people are like, oh my gosh, nostalgia, that's so cool. They were going to run a, a retro show this year, but they were going from TNA to GFW to Impact. It's it's clear they wanted to rebrand. It's just, it, it didn't work the way they wanted. I think with just the switching from Jeff Jarrett to Scott and Don, you know, and guys like that, that's, you know, uh, head in Impact now, I think um, then making that uh, transition of switch is the reasons why you've uh, witnessed or seen those uh, those changes of names, you know, from TNA to GFW to Impact Wrestling. I think I think that's why. But to be honest, I was just happy to be there in Orlando, yeah. and uh, you know, uh, being you know uh, being in wrestling for 15 years at that point, I was just kind of like I was learning things you know, kind of just on the job, uh, like you can't be prepared for TV, you know, d despite all the, the, um, um, whatever, whatever, um, um, experience level that you have, whether it's one, 15, 16, 20 years, like what, until you get there and you actually experience it, like there's, there's nothing actually that can prepare you for it. If that makes any sense. Yeah, of course. I'm pretty sure I remembered you doing um, an ROH match right before you went to Impact. Yeah. So that's that's that leads me to wonder, like, like how was your relationship with them? Did they think you were going to come in? Did you think you were going to come in full time? Like, like what what all developed from that? Uh, because I mean, I know that you hadn't been there for a while before that. Um, at that point, we were uh, we were already signed with Impact, I believe. Uh, I think we signed like a week or two, uh, before that, uh, booking. So it was just going to be a one-off and like, I wasn't expecting anything out of it because I knew, you know, that we were, we were getting ready to head to impact in July. Mm -hmm. So like, uh, I, I, I was just expecting, you know, just exactly what it was, was a one-off and, you know, us, us be on our way. It was just kind of more of uh trying to get, uh, reps and, uh, sure and get fine-tuned before uh, TV. 